Hi everyone, in this part I want to solve 10 questions in 15 minutes. Let's see is it possible or not. The first question is derivative of e to the power tangent x. Let's take ln of both sides. ln y is equal to using the properties of ln, we have tangent x times ln e, which is tangent x, since ln e is 1. Derivative of left hand side is equal to y prime over y derivative of inside over inside is equal to derivative of tangent x is equal to second square x second square x so y prime becomes y times second square x y is e to the power tangent x times second square x as a solution of first one solution of second one We use the chain rule for the second one. Y prime is equal to derivative of sine is cosine. We don't change the inside of the function. Times derivative of inside. Derivative of inside. Okay, in the second step, let's take the derivative of inside. Okay times derivative of inside derivative of e to the power x square is equal to derivative of power which is 2x times the function itself the function itself okay is, is the solution of second question let me clear the board and then continue okay What about the solution of third one? We have an again exponential function. Derivative of y is y prime. Actually, we should take the ln of both sides first. ln y. Derivative ln of right hand side is equal to x to the power 5 times ln 5. Okay. Derivative of left hand side is equal to y prime over y ln5 is a constant derivative of x to the power 5 is 5 times 5 times x to the power 4 so y prime becomes y times what is y y is 5 to the x to the power 5 this is y times 5 times ln5 times x to the power 4 it is the derivative of the function the fourth one let's look at the derivative of the fourth one as you see we have an implicit function so we will differentiate each term with respect to x derivative of y left hand side is y prime is equal to derivative of e to the power y is equal to derivative of power which is y derivative of y is y prime times the function itself plus derivative of y is y prime plus derivative of x is 1 derivative of x with respect to y, with respect to x is 1 so let's take the parentheses of y prime we have the parentheses of y prime we have what do we have we have one here we have minus e to the power y here we have minus no of course you can cancel these two terms then what do we have sorry what do we have y prime is equal to minus 1 over e to the power y okay it is a solution of fourth one uh, in the fifth problem we again have an implicit function so we will differentiate each question separately and now we are looking at we are looking at this question derivative of left hand side is y prime derivative of right hand side derivative of the power is 
sine minus sine xy times derivative of xy derivative of first component times second derivative of x times y plus first times derivative of second okay times the function itself cosine xy it is derivative of first component in the right hand side let's let's look at derivative of second component in the right hand side derivative of ln xy is equal to plus derivative of inside which is y plus xy prime divided by inside if you substitute all this expression you will find the derivative you will get y prime let's look at let's look at this problem now this one is again an implicit function derivative of y squared times x squared since y is a function of x and x you have x squared so you have multiplication of two functions with respect to x so we should apply the derivative rule accordingly derivative of y squared is since y is a function of x derivative of y squared is 2y 2y times y prime is derivative of y squared times second component x squared plus the first one times derivative of second 2x plus derivative of e to the power y square is the derivative of y square which is 2y y prime times the function itself is equal to derivative of right hand side which is derivative of x which is 1 if you take the parentheses of if you take the parentheses of y prime you will get the answer let me clear the board again then continue I hope I can finish okay which question do we solve this complicated question as you see if you want to apply the derivative rules and to this problem you will get of course you will get the answer but it will be very complicated this is why I prefer to take ln of both sides then solve the problem ln of right, right hand side is ln y ln of right hand side ln of left hand side is ln y ln of right hand side is equal to using the properties of logarithm we have what do we have we have 1 over 3 ln x square minus 8 plus 1 over 2 ln x cup plus 1 minus 1 over 2 ln 1 minus x very complicated function very complicated function plus plus 1 over 3 since you have 3 to the pi since you have no you have 3 here sorry you have 3 you have 3 ln x plus 2 and finally minus let's put minus here minus one minus five ln x to the power six minus seven x plus five okay if you if you take the parenthesis no if you uh, differentiate each term separately with respect to x then you will get the answer 
So the rest is actually easy, not complicated. So the rest, the rest is yours. Okay. So what about the next question? It is possible to solve the next question using the same idea. We take the ln of both sides. ln of left hand side is equal to ln of right hand side. ln of right hand side using the properties of logarithm you have ln x plus 1 of because you have root here 1 over 2 so we have square root ln x plus 1 okay since you have a division you have a denominator minus we have minus by the properties of ln 1 over 3 ln x plus 5 x plus 2 and finally again you have minus since it is in denominator minus 5 ln x plus 3 again if you differentiate each term with respect to x then of course it is very easy uh, you will get the answer derivative don't forget that derivative of ln y is y prime over y since y is the function of x what about this problem actually it's not maybe it is the most difficult one let me clear the board again okay okay let me clear the board What about logarithm problem? Logarithm problem. Logarithm. Let me change the pen. Logarithm 2 base 2. Logarithm of 1 over 1 plus logarithm x to the base 3 is equal to logarithm of 1 plus logarithm of x to the base 3 to the base 1 to the power minus 1 of course and again using the properties of logarithm you have logarithm of 1 plus logarithm of x to the base 3 to the base 2 okay or we have again using the properties of logarithm logarithm of 1 to the base 2 minus logarithm of 1 plus logarithm of x to the base 3 to the base 2 logarithm 1 is 0 so you have 0 minus logarithm of 1 plus logarithm let me clear okay let's continue logarithm of 1 plus logarithm of x to the base 3 to the base 2 so let's continue let me clear this part okay so this is equal now we have the proper function okay now let's differentiate f f prime is equal to derivative of inside over inside we have minus here maybe a minus from here derivative of inside derivative of inside over inside over inside times ln base ln since the base is 2 we multiply by ln 2 so what's derivative of 1 plus logarithm x to the base 3 is if you take derivative and substitute substitute you will get minus 1 over ln 3x times x times ln 2 it is not so easy what about the final one what about the final one we take again ln of both sides ln u is equal to ln of right hand side is equal to the parentheses of 1 over 2 we have ln x plus 1 plus ln x square plus 1 
plus since you have factors you have multiplications you have plus 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 in between elements elements x cup plus one okay then if you differentiate each term you have one over two derivative of ln x plus one is one over x plus one derivative of ln x square plus one is 2x divided by x squared plus 1 and finally derivative of ln x cube plus 1 is 3x squared divided by x cube plus 1 it is all